Okay, so we got our gliding chair in the mail today. And Brady just took the desk out. So that's where the chair is gonna go by the nightstand over there. So yeah, pretty excited. Okay, here it is. It's so nice and it's so comfy and I love it. I might come in here every day just to sit. Hey guys, so I wasn't sure, I might have to go back through and look at the clips that I've recorded. <laughs> um, but I wasn't sure if I've shown you kind of more of an update of the nursery. Um, just because we've added a few more things. Like again, I have no idea if um, I've shown you already these things. So if not, um, we did get the chair in. Um, just got this on Amazon. I'll try to link one down below. Um, I went with the beige on top of the dark brown. Um, it's really comfy. We love sitting in it. <laughs> um, it's going to be a really good chair, so I'm excited. And then we got this rug here uh, from Home Goods. So I can't really link anything for it because Home Goods and TJ Maxx, they're kind of like hit and miss. Like they either have it at all their stores or they don't. But I just can't decide if it looks too small or if it looks fine there. Once we move these boxes out of the way and get those set up, I might scoot it a little bit closer to the crib, but yeah. Um, I did get the prints in. Um, these prints, cute little, I'll link the shop down below that I got these. It says, we will love you till the cows come home. And we're gonna hang those here. And then I also got these felt balls. Um, I'll link the shop. I got them on Etsy, just like 25 of them. Um, I'll link the shop down below to make a garland to hang under the prints. We'll move the mirror and everything over there, which you guys already know. And then I did, my mom and I found these teddy bears from my childhood um, when we were cleaning out the nursery. And so I went ahead and put them in the wash so that baby girl can be around them and snuggle them. <laughs> however she wants to um let's see we did buy this little wooden cube puzzle six different scenes so if you can see right there each side of the blocks has like a different puzzle and obviously she won't be playing with that for a long time but it had a cow on it and i couldn't say no <laughs> Um, and then the next thing that we got is this piece for the wall. Um, we thought it was cute. It kind of looked barn door-ish. Um, we also got this at Home Goods um, to put pictures on. And I thought that that would be like a cute decoration type thing for the nursery. And then behind the door, this, there's a, there was already a nail on the wall there. So... I just have to figure out where I want to put the letter board if I even want to do that or if I want to put something else there. So yeah, we're kind of figuring things out. Um, I went through another bin of my cousin's clothes that she gave to us. Look at this dress. Isn't that seriously the cutest thing in the whole wide world? Um, we got her some jelly shoes that were on sale at Old Navy. Got um i got this shoe thing at walmart and so down here at the bottom i've just got a bunch of like different hats so these will be for like summer pool and these are like winter hats um i'm hoping to get some more at like baby showers but if not like it's seriously not a big deal um i'll probably just order some i just like i told my mom i'm just seriously so worried about her being cold because she's going to be bored in the middle of winter so anyway and then I don't know if I showed this um, but I did get some of these organization cubes from Amazon I'll try to link them down below I'm not super in love with them I also am not super in love with the fact that I feel like the drawer doesn't come out far enough because it still goes back so it's kind of annoying I don't know if I'm going to get different things or not but we've just got tights mittens 
um, hair bows and then binkies and stuff I just put in there for right now and then of course diaper covers and then it did come with two larger ones um, that I figure I'll organize like diapers wipes creams lotions all sorts of other things there um, her drawers are getting so super full most of this like 99% of this is hand-me-downs. My sister did buy her this little onesie. You know, her first little at Old Navy. It's so cute. Just, I love yellow. Okay. Um, let's see. I also have been stocking up on pant bottoms because I feel like this looks like a ton, but I just feel like we have more um, onesies than I do pant bottoms. And then these are just like little outfits that we have for her, um, like pieces of clothing that go together with a pant bottom and a top. Um, so yeah, we're pretty excited. Um, that's really like all that... I guess I have to update for the nursery. I don't know if I've updated you on the blanket I'm making, but this is it. Now I just need to get some batting, some bind, make the binding, uh, sew the pieces together that I'm gonna do for the binding, and then just quilt it together. So that is the nursery update. Okay, so for Brady's birthday, <laughs> I told him he didn't have to be on camera, but I lied. For Brady's birthday, I'm letting him finally open up the car seat and uh, stroller. Because he has been begging me forever. Here I am in my chair. Am I opening it? Yep. So I'm gonna let him open it now. That's what the stroller looks like. It's just a car seat carrier. That's the car seat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <coughs> Hopefully you know how to put it together. Oh yeah, this is like our favorite part how easy it is to just open and close it. Oh wow, look at all that fancy schmancy no, stuff you gotta take off. To Dumb. So, we pretty much have all of the major stuff. We got the crib and the dresser and those things and the chair. We got this swing from my cousin, which was super nice. So the only really big thing that we need next is the baby monitor, but I think we're gonna try to wait till Black Friday. I am 24 weeks. Oh, we got some stuff happening over here. It's super simple, which is what I wanted. And it's got great storage at the bottom and it carries the car seat, which is fab. I don't need some major, like, I don't know. A lot of them just seemed really chunky and big and cause they came with the seat that the baby will sit in as it gets older. I just didn't feel like that was necessary right away. So yes, we'll have to eventually get a different stroller or see if there's a way to buy a seat separate for this body. I don't think so, but whatever, we'll cross that bridge when it gets here. So anyway, it's exciting. There she is. Did you need help, Brady? Um, no. Nope. Look at that. Bam, done. Wheels on the bottom, storage on the bottom. It's coming together. Don't look at my toes. 
He's sitting in the rocking chair. I was going to say, is it supposed to be up that high? <coughs> That handlebar right there in the middle, you pull that up and it collapses the stroller. Oh my word, seriously. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There she is. Wow, look at that bottom storage. So nice. It's got, it's got good wheelie ability. <laughs> Show them how it closes. You just boom, done. And then you just pull the handlebar back up when you want to open it. What do you think? It's pretty nice. We still got to figure out these random straps here, but for the most part, it. Hmm. Getting caught on that. All right, let's see you get this big fella out. <laughs> wow. Look how nice little baby's going to go in there. Aww. Cute. And it also just clips right in the stroller. We tested it at the store. So it comes with the base, which is nice. Oh, <laughs> proud dad. Boom. Dunzo. <laughs> well, you got to take it out so they show them in the side view. Do you know what that's for? Well, you just got to move it to the side. The stroller. The stroller. Oh, with the seat. Yeah. So they can see it in action. Cute, <laughs> Brady. <laughs> Cute. Our little baby's gonna go in there. Mm -hmm. She's gonna sit right there. She's gonna be so tiny. Well, we just took the uh, stroller around the house. <laughs> Looking really cute. There's gonna be a baby in there one day. We got about three and a half months. So, newest addition are these pictures. I, they're not centered and they're a little crooked, but so cute. Got them on Etsy. We got our swing set up. That's gonna go in the family room. More pictures. Just lots of fun and exciting things. Hey guys, what's up? I know you're super excited for another clip of nursery stuff because I know you're super excited about everything we get for the nursery and another nursery video. But um, we got the baby monitor in the mail today. We ended up going with this one. Um, it's pretty simple and you can view the baby on an app as well as the little monitor thing that comes with it and we kind of like that because I told Brady uh, we don't really need like multiple cameras or multiple like little monitors to view it if we can have like the monitor in our room and then maybe when we're out in the family room or the kitchen or whatever we can just use our phones or leave the door cracked or whatever we just really didn't need something major plus when I asked around a lot of people said that it's just kind of like preference like what you're looking for as far as like do you want two cameras do you want a super nice expensive has all these buttons in these um, I don't know awesome fun things or do you just want to be able to see your baby and hear them and whatever so that's kind of what we decided but um, here is the nursery it is chocked full of just stuff right now. <laughs> um, even the dresser is kind of that way. I've got a, um, I've got about seven days off of work, so a whole week, 
which is awesome, doesn't happen a lot. Um, but it just so happens this week. And so I think I'm gonna hang up the mirror and those little things here this week. I might redo this, get the pom-pom garland hanging up. And then I can't decide if I wanna kinda add something like on either side or if I wanna do like some cute hooks or something, shelves or something, hang up something there to kind of even out this wall. Cause I don't want it to be like too overbearing. I don't think I'm gonna put anything there. Like I've shown you before, I have the letter board here, but that's because there was already a nail there and I didn't know where else to put the letter board. So anyway, I've got kind of a few things to decide and hang up and kind of decorate and, and just see what I wanna do. Um, it's just like super subtle. I'm not really like, wow, I wanna do all these big crazy decorations. Um, excuse me and then um this is like a little bouncer thing that she'll be able to use when she what is that <laughs> that she'll be able to use when she's a little bit bigger um so we need to put that in storage somewhere i did finally decide what i wanted to do right here on the nightstand this needs to go in the storage but um, I just got a frame. I got this at Hobby Lobby. This lamp I think I got at Target like years ago. But then I just typed this up on the computer and it says, of all the things my hands have held, the best by far is you. And I just thought that was really cute. And um, I didn't know like what kind of picture to put there. Like, do I put a picture of me and Brady? Do I put a picture of like my dad or the temple or Jesus or like a cow or like what to put there. And then I kind of realized I don't really have like cute quotes or sayings or anything in here other than the ones above the nursery, but I don't really have anything else. So I thought that that was a cute little addition. Um, but yeah, we've kind of been on a little bit of a freeze as far as what we're getting honestly the last thing was that baby monitor that we really needed um i do want to get a bassinet but brady and i kind of want two different <laughs> kinds of bassinets so oh it's too low i was gonna sit on the crib but um so we'll have to to see what we're gonna do there but other than that we literally have everything we just are waiting for baby showers that's coming up um in november and then we can kind of go from there as far as, okay, what do we need to buy for diapers and wipes and binkies and bottles and uh, formula and just little things like that, you know, creams and lotions and soaps and medicines and nursing stuff and postpartum stuff. And um, so, yeah, we're just kind of in, a, in kind of like a waiting area as far as that goes. Um, I didn't want to keep buying too many things because I know, this sounds really terrible to say, but because I know I'll get stuff at the baby showers, which I'm so grateful for. I'm so grateful that we're gonna have baby showers. Um, anyway, but because I am like a, I'm like an over slash early preparer, <laughs> which is why we literally have everything set up and ready to go and like all the major stuff, because I'm just so paranoid that like what if she came early and we didn't have like any of this stuff like I am just paranoid about all the things even though this is my first baby and she's probably not going to come early I'm still super paranoid about that so I wanted to make sure that we at least had the major stuff um so grateful for all of our family who um helped us with the crib and the dresser and the stroller uh, this rocking chair decoration, just anything. Um, like my cousin donating so many of of the girly stuff. Um, it's just, we're just grateful for everything that we have. And, and now we can kind of just focus on getting last minute stuff and just preparing for her to come. Um, I have started to think about like hospital bag stuff, what to bring, um, what to put in a diaper bag. Um, I did want to ask a few questions on Instagram as far as like what what's your favorite formula brand um, just so we can kind of start looking into maybe buying some of that in bulk 
um because i'm sure i've shared this before but where we live we're an hour and a half away from major grocery stores like walmart or costco anything like that so um hopefully over the next couple months through the holidays um when we're you know down in utah visiting family we can stop by those stores and kind of stock up and um so we don't have to go out as much because she'll be in the winter um so yeah and honestly like i'm not going out and buying formula today i'm not buying diapers today we um because i want to wait till after the showers and of course i just want to ask on instagram like what's your favorite brand what do you feel has kind of worked best i do have a couple of pregnancy like postpartum questions that i want to ask you know certain creams or products used that mama's really enjoyed um so i know a lot of people are like don't like don't buy anything else like quit buying stuff like just wait till your baby shower but honestly when i ask those questions on my instagram it's just to get an idea it's just to because i don't know anything about brands of formula or what's the best kind or what to like nothing i know none of that and so mostly it's just to when i ask it's just like because i just want to know so that when i do have to go to the store and buy formula or diapers or whatever then i kind of have like you know this brand was really suggested or you know this brand was kind of not as popular but it's all we have at our grocery store so let's try it or all this kind of thing like um the other day our grocery store was having a major sale on a specific brand of wipes but it's not a popular brand and it's not one that i think is found at every store um these are the ones softs um it just says um with aloe and vitamin E. It doesn't say anything about like perfumes or scents or dyes or anything like that, but they were on sale for like 69 cents. So we bought about four packs of those and then someone um, sent us a gift already and they included these. Um, these are just the Parents' Choice brand, um, baby whites, they are fresh scent. And then I grabbed some of these probably for the diaper bag just little huggies simply clean these say fragrance free um it just comes with what is it 24 wipes so it's like super skinny little i'll probably put that in the but i have them here just in the drawer so honestly that's really like that's really it and we're just waiting for the showers and things like that and we're just so grateful for everyone in their gifts and just everything that they're doing and oh my gosh I have been thinking a lot about my vlogs lately and how also love my messy house okay accept it embrace it um I've been thinking a lot about vlogging lately and just how it's kind of like honestly died down since being pregnant and at first a lot of that was just because the nausea and I was just dying every day and and it just kind of um, became a lot, I guess, for me. Like I just, well, maybe not even necessarily it became a lot for me, but um, I just didn't have the energy and I don't think anything fell in there. And I just, um, I didn't feel good. And so it didn't make me want to, wow, you probably saw that beautiful pile of, stuff there zoom in a little bit um it just didn't make me want to um because I didn't feel good and um I was just tired I just didn't want it just didn't make me want to pick up the camera but I definitely miss it and a lot's been going on since then but I've noticed that I've kind of like I feel like every time I go out of town and I would take you with me and I would take you to the stores with me and stuff like that, we would have all these like really great times and um, anyway, it's just not like that anymore and um, part of me really misses it and um, anyway, so I'm hoping that I can find more energy and care and find things to vlog about because I know there are a few people in my life who genuinely enjoy watching these. I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. Because um, I was going through all the clips I have and honestly, it's a bunch. So, um, 
the next vlog you see i have no idea what's going to be in it it'll probably be halloween stuff with family or could be when the baby showers are i have no idea so anyway i will see you in the next one bye guys